Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Quad View. We bring you guys live coverage of the Fast Hosts Power Tournament. It is currently My Pony versus ESPC, and uh, they have kindly waited for us as we had a match that didn't take place, which was the Apex versus Quinatic one. Unfortunate for that, but luckily these guys have been absolute bouncers and have waited for us, so we'll be able to do this one. I am Menace. Alongside me, I have the absolute wonderful Machine. Machine, how are you doing? I am groovy, and looking forward to what we were saying earlier. We think this might just be a bit of a walkover. Well, yeah, we say that. I mean, we don't want to. We always want to try and be as unbiased as possibly Indeed. can. Um, and I mean, you never know; these guys might be up and coming. I mean, they got into the playoffs. Um, unfortunately, the the positioning wasn't all that good, so their uh, their seeding for the playoffs is a little bit low, and that does mean that they will be going up against probably one of the 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 top contending teams for this one. No, front, as you can see, underway, not going in favour of ESP. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, my opinion at the moment. Actually, they've evened it up a little bit. Quick little roster rundown for my pony. We have Whack, Battle, Shady, Prazen, and Nazri. And then for ESPC, we've got Sunde, Satan, Nabaski, Saruz, and Fake. I, I can't get. I, I don't know if anyone watched. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone watched the uh, the 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 Legends LAN, and uh, the, the Finnish accent saying Sunde was just like that. It's brilliant. Need to learn how to say it properly. Either way, though, so knife goes in favour of <laughs> my pony. Actually, our first map will be uh, here on uh, City Streets. And uh, the score is currently 0-0, zero, zero, as you can see there at the top of your screen. So, uh, first map, City Streets, what's your what's your liking on this one, Machine? Well, from a personal perspective, I I adore the map. I think it's great. I love the kind of the variations in the tax which people can have. You know, they've got the whole mid site mid to play with. Uh, but I mean, for the for the team as ESPC, I, it's one of the maps I haven't actually seen much of them. I think I, I've more often than not seen them on the. Uh, on cross and strike, God knows how. But uh, those <laughs> are the maps that seem to have appeared when I've, passed, when I've covered them. But So, uh, not sure on the SBC side. My Pony, obviously, this is going to be the first time I've covered them. But uh, I'm going to be interested to see what they bring to the table. Uh, they have opted for defense, which is uh, duly noted after they're winning their victorious knife round. Yeah, we'll I mean, see where that takes them. Defense, again, I'm not one of those people that, you know, I, I feel you could... Uh, the meta game in this map has changed for me. I think in the past it was a very heavily defense bias map. And then as the... As the strats started moving forward, people realized how smokes work and that if you throw a flash, it actually blinds the other person. Um, the, the attacking side has been evened up a bit. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if teams these days, you know, two equally even teams going up against each other would, would go like 6-6 six, six at the half. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see how these, one, how these guys pull it out. Of course, my pony going for the, uh, you know, we'll start off on defense. We'll, we'll see how good they are. We'll force ESPC to be the aggressors uh, at the start. And hopefully it works out for them. Hopefully they quickly adapt to... ESPC's very aggressive play. Very, very, very aggressive play. Well, they are, aren't they? I mean, I think in almost every map I've seen, they have this kind of uh, SMG orientated play, which uh, it, 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 I'm not taking anything away from the AKs, but I can't help but feeling that a lot of the uh, the, round, the winning rounds are coming from an, a successful push, followed by that later game push from the AKs and maybe the scope. Very much so. Either way, though, so first round, let's take it away with the scope for my pony. I'm one to always favor going for the scopes first. Let's see what he has on the board for him. He is going to be going towards this A site, hoping that uh, he might be able to find. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Satan, all the way from the back, as uh, takes out. Sorry, takes out Wacken. Now, actually, moving over, back over towards the um, the B side, looks like. The ESPC side have got a very much a split and pick situation going. I'm more accustomed to see something like this on uh, on strike, but you know, kind of just running about trying to find out where my pony are playing, and it seems to run right into the advantage. Satan right. gets himself another one, takes it to 1-0 in the first round, only <laughs> losing one player so far, and a good way to start. Indeed, I'm I'm just looking at. Uh, I'm not going to say it right. I'm going to call him Satan. As we do see, a bit of an aggressive A push. That's both SMG. Saraz is actually leading the pack. Let's go with him, as he's already into a very little resistance, whether it's carnades or anything in A-Arch. Finally, there is a presence in A-Arch. Battle <laughs> gets the red pyro. Gilly will be happy with that one, as Fake is the man in market trying to watch that rotate. Gets the frag to Shady. Battle, the only man so far to get a frag for my pony, as three have been exchanged for ESBC. Make that four as Sin pushes up top street. Explosive Bomb gone down, explosive. and ESBC have utterly decimated this A push. Great play from them. Prazin, though. Left to go 1v4. Already got one as Nipaski commences his push, and I don't think he's aware of it. Does pro not fast enough, though, as Nipaski gets that frag as well. Three frags for him that round, and that is 2 0. Very swift and very clinical from ESPC. Definitely so. Now, uh, 
Uh, I do see my audio is a little bit louder, so we'll change that at the half. We won't worry about that just yet. 2-0 early lead going forward. I'm going to take it away here with Shade on the B side. Let's see if he can get himself a nice aggressive position, try and stop ESPC moving forward altogether. Unfortunately, not so. He has put a one going in behind that one fight. Can he get the frag? <gasps> no, he Ooh. can't. Cinder takes him out. Don't know how, but... Seems that SMG spray was just in his favor for the round. Now, of course, this means that Mr. Prazen is your only AK left on B. He's the only one defending the whole of the B side, which uh, is no easy situation to be in. He doesn't have good positioning at the top of that street. He's very far back. If they try and move in on that bomb, he doesn't actually have much to stop them with. At the moment, he's just trying to defend his own position. Battle, Battle. takes out Fake. Napaski replying right back there. Down to three on three. Coming a lot closer this round. ESPC seem a little bit worried. Actually going towards that B side. Looks like they are moving over towards A. The problem for the My Pony side is that all of them are actually on B. And uh, it seems that they, I want to say, over-aggressively rotated. Making sure that they don't get caught off guard. Unfortunately, that's actually what happened to them in the end. And as we're trying to make his way back towards that A side, there's one at the top of the stairs, should be able to pick up the frag onto Napaski, does do so. Cinder takes a present, looks to the left, but unfortunately Cinder from the front of the Deagle takes him out, and that pushes it to a 3-0 lead. And uh, looking to go strong so far. Yes, indeed. We've got very poor SMG spawns from ESPC, so let's see where they take it. As the bomb once again, uh, this is that split and pick we were, we were looking at earlier. The smoke from actual My Pony into the car park, maybe looking to push up a bit deep though. Asaras does commence his stride into A site. Very little resistance once again. There is a player in A Arch's battle. As Sint does go down to the nade of Whack. Nice play from battle as well. That's both of the SMGs now down. As it is advantage my pony. 4v3. Both. In fact, I can't help but feeling my pony are being a bit pinned to that top street. Battle, Prazin and Whack all just sat on that top street. The SEC given free roam of that A site. Napaski with the bomb. Battle though does get the throw to Satan. Scope now down. And now Napaski in a bit of a sticky situation. Nice play from Shady as well. Takes down Fake now. 1v4. Lance a tag onto battle. Surely he's just going to stay there now. No need to move. As Napaski needs to get a wiggle on if he wants to get this down. 48 seconds. Goss does have the bomb. But four players want his blood. It's Shady to end him. Nice play from him. Two frags. Very in quick succession there. And we do see 3-1. And a f the first round for my pony. Yeah, I don't know if it was ESPC being a little bit, you know, kind of overly happy that they were so far in the lead. Or if uh, my pony just actually, you know, decided to be a little bit more disciplined, sit back, don't fall back as much as they did when ESPC pushed forward. Because that's that's what I saw a lot too. They would either, like, overcommit to, uh, to try getting a kill onto ESPC rather than just trying to make sure they stay alive. Shade with two frags though. ESPC moving in on this bomb site. Send there with a nice little deagle there as a... Uh, Takes out Prazen and now moving forward. ESPC, the member down at the moment as Napaski makes his way into that B arch. There are two players towards the top of the street and uh, it looks like, or at least my pony or not all clumped up, to, although Cinder taking a battle from behind. That's not a good start. Nasri takes out Cinder and now Napaski is the last man standing. AK walking through mid. Doesn't look like he's expecting much aggression coming through. Oh, and if he's just a little bit patient, he can actually find the scope. Does not aim and gets massively punished for it as uh, all of his hip fire shots miss. And now moving on to that bomb site. Goes for a fake. And uh, if there was a nade, of course, that'll save him from it. But at the moment, looks like he's just trying to draw out some attention. Did he make any noise walking up those stairs, though? Making his way into winners. He definitely has made a noise. Nasri pre-fires the door, takes out Napaski, and that'll bring him back to a 3-2 scoreline. A lot better there from my ponies. Seeming a lot more stable as uh, on the defending side. Yes, indeed. Going to go with... Let's go with the battle. Battle has been dancing around A Arch. You can't help but feeling he's being a little bit repetitive, and that is what ESPC will pick up on. Dill, he's once again opted for A Arch. Surely he's going to get pre-fired. He does get taken down by Sin. As I do suddenly get a ridiculous amount of frags. Sorry, I was getting confused there. As my pony are now left in a 1v5. Nazri, I assume he's the AAK he is. And he's going to get taken down by Satan right at the top of that street. 4-2. Now, if my pony were, you know, bricks and they were building a wall, it's not that ESPC just took them down one, like, brick by brick. They kind of just kicked all of it at one <laughs> go. Laser. And just, just they completely through. like yeah, I was about to say decimated the the my pony side. We do see Wack getting a nice little smoke shot there onto Napaski, and now trying to go back to cover towards mid. Shake, sorry, Shade takes out Saruz, and now ESPC actually going from that very aggressive play to. 
pretty much just being picked off bit by bit. Only a two versus five. Nasri takes out Satan. Fake is now your last man standing. He's actually all the way still back in spawn. Luckily he has the bomb with him. And if anyone fires on those red barrels, which they definitely should every single round, uh, looks like you'll be able to get away. He does make some gun changing noises. Shade heard it. And that'll be Fake going down as a... Uh, my pony now only one round behind. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm impressed. I'm going to see how, what Wack can bring to the table this time. See if he can uh, bring them to level playing field. Looking to go for the wall bank through mid. Looks like he knows what he's aiming for to get those mid rushes. Doesn't land it though as he opts for two nades. There's two nades gone towards Carpart. However, once again, Sind has got all the way up in their grill. He's up in top streak. Gets one onto Nazri. Knows it's an AK top streak, but Wack is there with the deagle. Two for two. Now make that two for three. ESBC just nudging ahead on this rush. Once again, this aggressive play we were talking about earlier is just astounding. Bomb goes down from Satan. Satan making his way up towards A house alongside his compadre, Saras. And Saras does get tagged, not fragged, and escapes towards that corner. 3v2 now, Prazin and Shady. Where is Shady? Shady's in mark, it gets tagged, running away, surely gonna get away from that. Prazin gets the front to Satan, but Fake returns and suddenly, Prazin left to go 1v2, 20 seconds on the clock, and both ESPC players are in strong positions for this. Bomb knot down, ideally for Fake, and there we do see 5-3. And that, I mean, what do you think, Menace? But I have to say, that is Clinical. one of the hardest situations to uh, to get back from. Once the bomb is down on A, and they're kind of, they've had the time, the attackers have had time to get into their positions, I, ca I just can't see getting back from that. It's such a difficult... Uh, such a difficult spot to really be in. I mean, the A site is just one of those bomb sites where once you get the bomb down, you've got so many places that you can hide Indeed. and be covered. I mean, you can literally go up to windows, into the flower bed area, into the little corner that has a homosexual name. You know, there's just so <laughs> many options available to you to actually stop the bomb plant. Even if it do like, even if you don't plant the bomb for your position, you it's still easy to you know or easy to get around the bomb to make sure that you can stop the the defuse going in now bomb being planted on b of course there is that car now this is the decision that spc have gone for there was no need to stop the bomb plant and of course with that car that just makes it a so much more nadable spot and uh you know once people plant on b you pretty much can only be defending it from uh, that b arch side or uh the lower part of that street Whoa. which is the Fake just dived in for a knife. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, so B-bomb, also a difficult one to... Uh, actually, difficult to defend, but again, also very difficult to attack upon. Uh, yeah, I can agree more. It's it's kind of... It's, it gives and takes, isn't it? I mean, if you, you have these teams that just seem to have very strong A strats, some like to storm it, some like to literally get the picks through mid and then suddenly appear on the A site. And it's, uh, it's that contrast which makes A defense so difficult, especially as an AK. I think both of us at uh, various times in our COD, uh, COD experiences played that A defense. <gasps> Shit, Satan! Satan is just diving through Mark. He's got a third as well. Nasri goes down, not going to get the fourth from Prazin. But he is just strolling through B Street, dumping into Market and just, oh my days. 7-3. <laughs> no, I mean... Right about now, Satan's being one of those players where it's like, I mean, every single SMG right now will concur that they know the rush over mid into Biarch, right? It's simple. Yeah. The problem is that that's what Sind is doing right now. That's the position he's playing. I mean, he literally dropped into Arch, cleared out Biarch, and then went up to push through the rest of mid. And it's just like, he's got, he must have either so much confidence in the rest of his team, or they're just feeling very comfortable with this lead and deciding mm -hmm. to try. I mean, with that lead, you've got the ability to just, you know, play aggressive, play a little bit more random. Um, and Which you know, sometimes can, yeah. can pay off. I mean, there's some teams like they're in a low, they're kind of like giving up, doing these random things, and it can get, lead to a comeback. Now, to reference this to a different game, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, or m some people might know StarCraft 2. And what, I mean, for the people that watched DreamHack this weekend, the players that took the 1 0 lead, their second game was either, you know, a, a kind of an, either an all in or kind of a rush. Because you have that game advantage, and if the second one pays off, then hey, you know, you won it quickly, you didn't have to put much effort into it, puts you in a great stance for your next couple of games. Um, whereas if they lose the round, then of course they just go back into their, their very aggressive macro play. So this is the kind of thing that I think ESPC are doing. They're playing very random once they have this lead, and they're trying to use this lead as a, as a let's play completely random and try to catch them off guard in different ways, and just secure our rounds quicker. Indeed, and uh, it's certainly paying off at the moment. They're in 7-4, probably aiming for that 8-4 result. Let's see where the attacking side going out. Sind and Satan both looking towards B Alley. No deep nade though. That's really uh, a fault on my pony's side. They're just li giving them that freedom to peek out the door, look towards that platform, and look for picks there. Wackthow does chime in with the fir first blood onto Napaski with the nade. 
And Sin, once again, allowing to just run into Laundry. Very little uh, spray coming onto him as Saraz is the one to take down Shade. Prazin does respond to the BAK, trying to do his job not for long though. Satan and Fake both picking up an AK frag for themselves as Whack does get a nice frag onto Sin. He's at the top street. Both of the ESPC players are around the B arch. Fake on top, Satan below. And the bomb is there as well now. This is where Wack really has to come into his own. Bomb now looking to go down. There was a fake and they're both pushing up top street. Satan gets the frag though. And it's... Oh! Team kill from fake. Oh, and I, that could have gone very fast. I was about to say they're lined up. I'm like, it's yeah. going to happen. Oh, oh dear. 8-4 though. Good half from ESPC. Expected result. But nonetheless, my pony, I, if looking at the scores, they're certainly not going down without a fight. No, definitely. I mean, uh, uh, they, they still have it in them to bring them back. I mean, the attacking side, they might feel a bit more comfortable with. They thought, well, hey, let's get the crap out the way and then, you know, play Indeed, what yeah. we know on the attacking side. Um, but, yeah, at the moment, so if you guys did just join us, though, this is the Fast Host Power Tournament. It's playoffs. It is the first round we are seeing my opponent play up against ESPC. This is the first map, too. First off, going 8-4 in favor of ESPC. Now with my pony on the attacking side, we'll have to see what they can do. Fake's going to be the first one with the frag of this half. And now it is down to my pony to start getting in those replies. Sunday so takes out Shade. Satan's taking, Satan's taking a couple of frag, oh, sorry, tags in mid as he does have a couple of nades flying in his direction. Sunday deciding that he's going to be pushing up all the way to the attacking spawn. Might just pay off. Spots whack. And that will shut him down. Nasri's your last man standing. Sindhu once again takes him out. And a nice little aggressive way to close off the round. Nasri goes down, of course, then that'll take it to 9 4 5 round advantage at the moment. Yes, indeed. I'm just having a little look at the overview of the map for ESPC. And we see three players looking to support that A arch area. One player on his way to B, and three now making their way towards market A arch area. And I can't help but feeling with the Wolfhang from spawn as well, they really are just looking for those opening mid frags. And at the moment, it's not looking too good. We do see a. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, I <laughs> tell a lie. Just press escape to see nade kills everywhere. Nazri and Fake both getting one for their team. As ESPC do have a one man advantage. Shady, though, has been given the freedom to push straight up the street. <laughs> Didn't last long, though. Fuzzy was aware of it. And suddenly. Where is Nazri? Nazri and Wooden. He does have the bomb. Gonna get wall bang from Nipazki from top B arch. And 10-4. Uh, ESPC really running away with it at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I saw Nasri towards uh, the end of that round trying to spray onto a sender who was in who was in the clothing store, and you know he has the exact same problem as I do. His recoil on his AK is ridiculous. <laughs> and so I was like, I th I swear I'm sometimes the only person that suffers with AK recoil because everyone seems to hit me perfectly though. Either way, doesn't seem to be going so well for my pony here in the 15th round. Of course, it is first to 13. So once we hit 13 team gets a map point and they'll be playing up for the second map point on the second map which is chosen Satan. by the losers but Satan decides to make me shut up and closes off the round. Only two more rounds left for ESPC to be taking this first map and then the losers get to decide the second map which I'm very curious to see. Indeed now is Satan replan or is this a new pickup? I'm guessing it's replan but I'm right. calling him Satan because it's his decision yeah. to fake Nick. So now Satan looking to do the wall bang towards it. I'm just going to go with and see what he's uh, bringing to the table here. Looking to stick around spawn. I think they're really anticipating something. Actually, they're not anticipating that push on platform, but that nade has revealed it. Now that was, I'm not going to say foolish, but that was good thinking from Satan. He just really tricked that nade, or um, twigged that that nade meant that he was going to be pushing up and got the frag. Whack was straight on him, though, as we are into a 3v2. My pony on the disadvantage once again. Cinder and Saras both commencing the push. It's going to be a plus 10. Saras diving around from A to bring 12-4 home. And uh, one round away from victory now, match point. Yeah, one round away. I mean, it's now gotten to the point where it's just like there's not much left in for these guys. They need to do something exceptional now, exceptional now to bring back all these rounds. And, uh, you know, with a side choice that was, was in their favor, they chose defense. It didn't go so well. It's not really going at all very well on attack. And uh, hopefully the fact that they have a second map that they get to choose will, you know, go in their favor for a change. And we do see Shade pushing out here onto the B side. Sprays into B arch, unfortunately not connecting with anything. As uh, he is waiting for his teammates to actually get around him. There is no one else on B for ESPC. And with a nade there onto the arch, takes out Cinder. And now down to three on three. Oh, battle with the nice nade too. Takes out Fake. And wow, that this seems to be going a lot better. Slow push here onto the B side, trying to fake out, draw some nades. 
Nothing coming out as of yet. Seems that Monpony are a little bit confused as to which direction each person is uh, defending, which is something they definitely need to clear out as quick as possible. Shea going to be covering the top street here. Saru is making his way into the bomb site. He's coming out of Widden. And all players for my opinion are actually primed to be to kill off this position. Shea takes out Napaski. Saru's moves forward, spots the player on the fences. It is Prazen Prazen with that wall yeah. defense in front of him, though. Will mean that my opinion grab themselves around, and that'll take it to 5 12. Only seven rounds difference. All right, then, my pony. I'm going to take it away with Scope Whack. Going to see what he does. Once again, is opting to uh, let get these picks on eight. However, ESPC, I've noticed, something I've noticed about their play is they never send an AK directly to A. Nipaski does hang around that top street, but he doesn't go to A. They have an SMG. It's Sinned. Uh, I could be wrong. Who just plays the A site, and then if there's nothing going down, he's got that lovely market rotate to B. So, uh, good strats from them. Obviously, they might have a little bit of a twist considering their current lead. Nonetheless, we'll see where this goes. ESPC in the lead. Dade has gone down to Satan. Satan is a... Uh, He's got his eyes trained on Wack's position, however, Sin gets the frag. Wack pinned in wooden now, player on his right, player on his left. And him and Nazari are in a very sticky situation. Going to try and get deep from ESBC. One push, gets the tag and the frag with that uh, scope, no scope. Nazari onto Satan as well, suddenly brings it to a 2v2. We could see a lovely comeback from the My Pony side. If Nazari can just stay alive, he's constantly peeking as Saras commences his push. Takes down Nazari. And he has the bomb in his sights, looking to get the frag onto Whack Whack. Not tagged at all, though. Managed to get away from that relatively scout free. As both players are on his right towards that B site, he knows that they can. They know where the, the uh, location of the bomb, so he's going to have to go for the frag. It's not going to happen. Fake just times his push perfectly to bring 13-5 and that first map home. Yeah, first map th finishing off 13-5. I mean, I'm uh, definitely sure that ESPC will be happy with that uh, with that final score. Of course, it means now that uh, my pony have got the choice for map, and uh, it, it's it's going to be one of those things. I mean, they were able to choose the side. They're going to have to do something exceptional. They're going to have to choose a map that they definitely feel comfortable with. I don't think that this is probably the best map for their choice, though. I'm tabbing in now. Uh, Backlot.